from sunny Southern California. This is the Executive Housekeeper 101 from housekeepingrehab.com. Here now is your Executive Housekeeper, Abel Josephson. Let me give you an understanding of what clean is. Clean in the perception of the guest. Are you ready for this? You haven't heard this before. Clean is the absence of any evidence that anybody was ever in this room before. That's what clean is. So if things are crooked, that means somebody's been here before and they've messed things up. All right, you're back. Thanks for coming back. Share the videos, like the videos, watch them two or three times. There's so much here. These videos are so content rich that you're certainly to find something new each time you listen to it. I said many times before that this is the perfect video series for a first time executive housekeeper, a new supervisor, or a general manager who is seeking an understanding on what it is that they're missing in their housekeeping department, that if they had it, can turn some things around and raise those performance scores. All right, now I've spoken to you before about the three mysterious secrets of housekeeping. These three mysterious secrets don't mention cleaning of any type. The three mysterious secrets are this, zero smell, nothing crooked, nothing missing. Now, you would think, well, that's so easy. That's not really the important stuff. The important stuff is clean, and the important stuff is the room is ready to check in at three o'clock, and the important stuff is there's no hair on the floor. Yes, that's very important stuff, but you cannot ignore the rest of the things that I'm talking about. The rest of the things that I'm talking about are what generate repeat business for the hotel. That makes you a money-making housekeeping department. The things that I talk about raise the generation of cash tips for the in-room guest room attendants. You can literally give them a raise by teaching them how to touch guest items and never affect your P&L, never go for a budget increase. Just make your service to where people, wow, they're gonna give extra money for it because you trigger that extra money because of the level of service that you bring. And the things that it takes to get to that level are so simple. It's like a piece of glass. It's so clear that you can see right through it and miss it. I'm going to look at nothing crooked. Remember, what a guest perceives is a greater reality than what is actually presented in front of them. The room can be immaculately, pristinely clean, and still the guest finds some reason to think that it's dirty. So it's all about perceptions. But there are certain things that you should major on about what a guest perceives and make sure you do it right every single time. So the perception is more important than the reality many times. And I'm talking about things that affect their perceptions. Clean is the absence of any evidence that anybody was ever in this room before. And that includes housekeepers. You can't have footprints in the carpet after they vacuum and left a pattern. You can't have footprints in that pattern. Clean is the absence of any evidence that anybody has ever been in that guest room before. That's why nothing crooked and everything straight is so important to the guest perception. Nothing crooked simply means what it says. Nothing is crooked. Nothing's crooked. Everything is absolutely straight, 90 degree angles. Remote cannot be crooked just a little bit and the TV guide straight. Everything has to be straight perfectly straight and spaced and the same spacing around everything. And I'll get into that. I'll show you how to, what the proper space is and how to give your housekeepers a way to measure that space evenly with continuity from room to room to room every single day without fail. Nothing crooked. Nothing crooked has everything to do with nothing touching the wall. Those are related. You can't have your desk touch the wall. You can't have your sofa chair touch the wall. You can't have your ottoman that's used with the sofa chair, the footstool, you can't have that touch the ottoman. Nothing can touch the wall and there's the same space between desk and wall as there is between nightstand and wall. The same space between headboard and wall. The same space between lamp and telephone. All these spaces, when they're close by, are measured at the same distance. And how do you do it? This guy right here, guest room key card. Everywhere you go, you want your bell right here? You want your uh, index card right here? Look, how far do we put it, everybody? Guest room, key card, distance. How far from the uh, index card to the computer? Guest room key card, guest room key card. Oh, that needs to be moved back a little bit. Look, see that's how, that one thing. How much space between your desk and the wall? Guest room key card gives you the space. How much space between the nightstand and the wall? Up, oh, same space. Real easy. 
Now we have a standard that everybody carries around on their little strap from room to room to room. Now your desk and your nightstand, all your furnishings, they get moved around by guests, they get moved around by housekeeping, and after a while, you can go room to room, sofa chairs in a different place, floor lamps in a different place, nightstands are moved, desk is not centered underneath the artwork. You've got to have continuity in these things. If you have artwork or a mirror or something like that over your in-room desk, that desk has to be centered up exactly with the center of the artwork. Can't have it over five inches. Why? The perception is it's dirty. Not only that, if the desk is not lined up and centered underneath the artwork, if the couch is not lined up and centered underneath the artwork, if the lamps are not in the center of the nightstand, these are things the guest perceives, and what they perceive is, oh no, somebody's been in here before and moved things around, because they perceive it should be like a hospital room, you know? Precise, precision placement of things is more clean in the eyes of a guest than things that are super clean and super crooked. Things that are crooked, tables that are touching the wall, these are all evidence somebody has been here before. In your own home, you would probably pull the desk out from the wall a little bit, why? So you don't scratch the wall. So why do we push the de desk against the wall in the hotel? Why are the nightstands touching the wall? Why are the nightstands almost touching the, you know, the bed, the mattress? I see it. All right, so nothing can be touching the walls. Trash can cannot be pushed up against and touching the armoire. There has, has to be a space between everything, the same space. Use your guest key card. Now there's a reason why that it looks better and your rooms, the quality and value of your rooms are improved when things are not touching the wall or touching each other. The perception that the room is larger is what you achieve. When there's space between everything, uh-huh, the room is perceived larger. If you look at the desk in this picture right here, look how cheap it looks and how crammed things look when the desk is against the wall. Pull it out a key card distance from the wall. That much space makes the room look bigger. Same thing for nightstand. How far is it from the wall? As wide as a guest room key card. You have that space around there, why? It makes the room look bigger. Let's look at the sofa chair. Sofa chair in this picture is touching the wall, so I had to pull it out, put a guest room key in there. And then I look, the ottoman is touching the sofa chair. I have to pull the ottoman out, and what? This much space, guest room key, get some space in there. It makes the room look bigger. If you push it against the wall, it makes the room look cluttered and small, like there's not enough space for this furniture. Space around everything, makes the room look bigger. Nothing can be crooked. Everything has to be perfectly straight. And you have to do this every single day. And not only that, you have to do it in your occupied rooms. That's part of keeping the house. All right, let me show you another thing that's part of nothing crooked. Look at this lampshade. What's wrong with it? See the seam in the lampshade? That should be turned around back. If the lampshade seam is in front, it is perceived as dirty, trashy, and cheap. It falls into the crooked category. The lampshade's crooked. Why? If the lampshade were straight, the seam would be in the back. See how it works? Lampshade seams have to be in the back. Towels have to be hung in the bathroom. Nice and straight, symmetrically, with the right space everywhere, continually in every single room. Some ladies push their things to this side and it's accepted. You go to the next room, they're in the center. Go to the next room, they're to the other side. Why? We have to have a standard placing for everything because every time the guest comes, they remember how it was, that's why they booked again. They want the same thing, they want continuity and consistent consistency. They don't want surprises. You can have a, an amazing clean room and look at the trash can. That one trash can crooked like that will ruin the perception that the room is perfectly clean. It is evidence that somebody was there before and clean 
is the lack of evidence that anybody's ever been there. So when the trash can is crooked, people think, oh, somebody's been in here and they didn't straighten the trash can. Now they don't know what they're looking at. They don't know whose job it is to straighten the trash can. They just know the stra trash cans, you know, cattywampus, you know, it's crooked and it looks bad, it feels dirty. If that thing is spaced with a key card between the trash can and the armoire, the trash can on the wall right behind it, just let that be your guy. Space makes the room look bigger, nothing touching, everything straight. Beautiful. Beautiful. A lack of evidence that anybody else has been in this hotel room. We are housekeepers, not house cleaners, right? Yeah, we clean, but the main thing we clean it for is to get it set up so what we've cleaned up, we can keep that level and standard of service throughout the guest stay. The most important room that you will visit is your occupied rooms. I don't know why hotels got it all backwards. We do as little as possible as we can in there. Right? And that's where all the junk gets moved around. The guest moves it, housekeeping goes in there and pushes the desk back and people move the nightstands because they want to work on something on the nightstand and the stuff never gets put back right. And before you know it, all the furniture in every room is a little different. It's kind of floated around to a different place. No, continuity, consistency in your placing, nothing crooked, nothing is touching another thing. And it's the same. Every time they come to the hotel room, that's part of the gig. That's part of the game. That's the challenge. That it's exactly the same. That way they have more comfort. The more times they go there, they get exactly what they want. And they know exactly what to expect. To come in and stuff's crooked and the desk is pushed against the wall and it's not centered under the artwork, that's a surprise. You have to run a no surprises campaign for the, on behalf of the guest. They don't like surprises. Dirty is a surprise. Crooked is a surprise. Uh, you can smell something in the air when you come into the room. That's a surprise. They don't want to smell anything. That's why I talk about these three mysterious secrets of housekeeping. If you nail these, you compensate for any other shortcomings you have in the room. You compensate for tired carpet that needs to be replaced, but it's not replaced. You compensate for, you know, older stylings and color patterns from previous designers because the hotel hasn't been renovated in five to ten years. You've got old style, old colors, that sort of thing. Man, if it doesn't have any smell, if nothing's crooked and there's nothing missing, you can shine an old penny man and make money out of it. Generating tips for your housekeepers along the way. Use your mind, use your head. Think outside of the box. The most important thing is what you do in the occupied room. The housekeeper guest room attendant pays attention to the in-room amenities, hotels, assets, clock, radio, telephone, lamps, furniture, these things. All right, then the supervisor comes in. Oh yes, we inspect all of the occupied rooms. That's why I'm on the floors. Because supervisors spend you know a, a certain amount of time in vacant dirty rooms, turning them vacant clean. But they also check occupied rooms. I'm on the floors, I'm in rooms all day long. I tend to go to only the occupied rooms because when I'm in there, I can go deeper than the housekeepers went. And when the supervisors go in, they can go deeper than the housekeepers went. In other words, housekeepers look after hotel amenities. Supervisor might come in and straighten up guest books, guest laptop, move the mouse pad, you know, set the mouse just right, nice and centered every single day in that occupied room. They go in, it's like that, right? But when the supervisor goes in every day, she takes two or three things that she can do quickly and smoothly with guest items. She sets the mice straight. Every day she cleans their coffee cup and sets it nice and centered on the desk. Every day she's tweaking anything that she can see that can be what? Made straight, that's crooked, that needs to be straight. It only takes two or three things to, to be consistent with and the guests just go, wow. All right, and then I go in as the executive housekeeper. I do other things. I'll take their luggage and pick it up off the floor and go set it on the luggage rack. And I'll take their t-shirts that are laying on the bed or on the floor even, I'll straighten them out, just lay them over the back of the desk chair or lay them neatly at the end of the bed. Ladies on this side, men's on that side, something. Special effects are like hot sauce. A little bit goes a long way. You do, you know, two or three little things for the guest that straighten their things out and touch it. 
Every single day, the money's gonna flow. The repeat business is gonna come, which means more hours for housekeepers. Cash is gonna flow, which means more money for housekeepers. This All this goes on in the op occupied room. You divide it up. So we know that the, soup, that the guest room attendants are responsible for hotel assets and amenities. Supervisor, you look in the RMR or the closet every day, and if they have things hanging, you take your guest key, right? And you put that guest key between every hanger and make sure that that space is the same every single day for that guest. We make their things straight. Their things cannot be crooked. So she looks at the hangers in the armoire or in the closet, and that's the thing that she comes in and she, you know, focuses on. It seems like a small thing, like why would you? Because of the dividends is why. Because of the money that flows when you do this to people for them, when they don't know what to ask or expect to get it. We know, we're professionals. I'm the one that's always going in and picking up the heavy luggage and putting it on the luggage rack. And if I need more luggage rack for more you know, luggage, I go get another luggage rack. I might have three luggage racks in that room. Of course, in my hotel, every room has at least two luggage racks. Why? Most rooms have at least two people with their own bag. Why do we only put one amenity, one luggage rack in there? I will be the one probably to straighten out the uh, couch to make sure it's centered up. Because it's heavier, I'm able to lift it without injury. So each of us has their own little things that we go in and tweak. And where are we doing this? In the occupied room. That is where all your time and attention needs to be. How far are the guest room glasses in the bathroom from the, the splash on the bathroom counter? Huh, guest room key card distance, that's how we know. That way there's no guessing. That's why it's the same everywhere. While the guest is in there paying money, every single day. Guest room key, that's your spacing device for everything. Everybody's got one, you don't have to explain it. Guest room key card, golly, it's your best friend. And they come in all kinds of shapes and sizes, right? You can get all kinds of these things, you know? Anyway, three mysterious secrets of housekeeping, zero smell, nothing crooked, and nothing missing, I'll get into that later. When you start straightening things out for a guest and you see there's no complaint, you see cash tips increase, you, 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 you know that, this, that there's nothing they can complain about. We've cleaned it and we touched their stuff. It, 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 it brings a, a great gravity and power to the impact that housekeeping has. You'll have happier housekeepers because they have clear direction. The guest doesn't know what they're looking at, but they sure know it when they see it. The hotel and hospitality industry is a type of entertainment and a form of show business. Thanks for visiting the Executive Housekeeper 101 with Abel Josephson from housekeepingrehab.com. <laughs>